Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. In the wave of single board computers like the Raspberry Pi 3 for example, Nvidia launched in 2019 their own called the Jetson Nano and they were kind enough to send me one. It's geared towards AI and machine learning work specifically but we could do a lot of other things with it so I think it's time we take a tour. What's the Nano? The Jetson Nano differentiates itself from other single board computers in that it's meant primarily for AI and machine learning and, as such, ships with a good GPU on board using that power to crunch data as fast as possible. Obviously, you can use it for other purposes, with one major caveat we'll talk about later. Nvidia provides an SDK to get started and start building your own AI-based applications. It's also not a true single board device since there is the actual Nano itself, this small module here, and the PCB which is just intended to provide I.O. to the Nano. This device is specifically important since it's a cheap gateway into the world of AI and machine learning which can require pretty expensive hardware to get started. What's in the box? First is the Nano itself, a pretty small but pretty high naked board with the necessary inputs like a micro SD card slot for storage, four USB 3.0 ports, HDMI, DisplayPort and a 40 pin expansion header. It also has a camera connector and a gigabit ethernet port. You can power the Nano through micro USB or the dedicated DC jack. And the major caveat here is that the Nano does not come with a Wi-Fi chip. You will have to connect it through an ethernet cable, but you can add an M.2 dedicated module, which should make the Nano a lot more appealing for users outside of the machine learning space. Nvidia also sent me this fan that will be needed to cool down the GPU when the Nano is crunching data. And finally there was the SD card itself which contains the OS, which is obviously Linux. My Nano came with a power cable as well, but this, the SD card and the fan are not part of the package Nvidia sells, so you'll need to add at least a micro USB power supply for turning this thing on. The heatsink provided might be enough for a start, but you might want to invest in a fan if you really plan to use this thing. Obviously you'll also need a keyboard and a mouse and a display to set it up. The specs. I'm not big into spec sheets, but the Nano, for its $99 price, packs a lot of punch. It uses a quad-core ARM A57 CPU running at 1.43 GHz, 4 GB of DDR4 RAM, and its GPU is based on the NVIDIA Maxwell architecture with 128 cores, which total 472 gigaflops of computing power. For those who lack a frame of reference, this puts it at a third of the original Xbox One's computing power, which is not bad for such a small form factor and considering its price. It's able to decode up to 4K 60fps video and encode up to 4K 30fps, which should also make it a pretty useful dedicated game streaming machine. What does it run? By default, the OS loaded onto the SD card is a variant of Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, with a kernel compiled for ARM processors, and a bunch of libraries useful for the Nano's intended purpose. It's still an ARM version of Linux, so you won't get all the software you might already be used to, but it does run a graphical user interface, so you could theoretically use it as a standard computer. And this brings us to the next point. What does it do? Nvidia markets this device heavily as a machine learning and AI developer kit. For the price, it's a pretty good device that allows anyone to get started and learn to develop AI and machine learning projects. But this is not all it could do though. You could use it to run a Nextcloud instance, a web server, or even a streaming device and a video encoding machine. It could be used as a game emulation machine, a NAS, or a Kodi or Plex server, although these other uses could also be served by a less expensive Raspberry Pi. As with all single board devices, there isn't much this thing won't do, and we are going to take a look at how to use it for many different use cases, as well as the machine learning tools Nvidia provides, so stay tuned for more. I hope you enjoyed this first tour of the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!